Hello everybody, welcome back. And a happy new year to you all. And it's good to be back out on Dartmoor. And uh, we're at uh, Gutter Tour, which is on the southwest side of Dartmoor. And we're gonna be on a little trek down to Ditsworthy Warren House, amongst other things. This is Trev's Treks. the Warren house behind me so basically all we've done is left the car park and we've skipped around the side the left hand side of gutter tour there's a gate with a building which you uh, you go through just follow the bridle path uh, across the wall it's fairly obvious and uh, eventually yeah you'll come to uh, an eerily looking uh, house in the middle of nowhere so uh, yeah beautiful area going to uh, take a closer look and uh, see what we can find. So we just uh, walked in through the um, the entrance and um, there we are, there's the front of the house. A spooky looking old house. It really is in the middle of nowhere. Now there's some uncertainty to the age of the, uh, the place, but um, it's thought to date back to the late 16th, early 17th century. And uh, obviously it's disused now, but the, uh, the military do use it for uh, sheltering. There was uh, somewhere it was written that it was uh, in a script about 1474, but um, there's some uncertainty that this this is uh, this is from that era. It may be that. Uh, another house existed here before this one but anyway it's uh, it's very old <laughs> and as the name suggests uh, this worthy warren is where uh, the rabbits were uh, commercially bred here for uh, their meat and fur and there are still some uh, some evidence of that so we'll uh, we'll go and have a look for that little stone walled area here was used to keep uh, the dogs in and uh, back then it was a fairly high stoned wall to stop the dogs escaping and uh, you can still see the kennels here built into the wall
yeah, the dogs were used obviously for uh, keeping trespassers out and also for uh, hunting the rabbits. And it's been said that they were quite fierce dogs as well. I'm not sure what kind of dogs they were, but um, yeah. There's some strange looking uh, cigar shaped mounds on the, uh, the hillside there. They're called pillow mounds. And they were built uh, with stone around the edges filled with earth where the rabbits used to, to live and breed for the warren. And uh, you can see clearly there, it's still marked on the hillside there. The house also appeared uh, in the film War Horse. chosen for its uh, remote location and its uh, surrounding scenery. You can see why. Stunning area. Show me it's a bit gloomy today and a bit misty, but um, yeah, Steven Spielberg had the uh, house semi-restored on the outside anyway and then it was put back to its uh, original state when the filming was finished so yeah here we are and uh, what's new for 2022 well, I've got lots of good plans this year lots of uh, exciting things happening hopefully one of those will include some wild camping and um, lots more wildlife and lots more uh, trekking hopefully and um, when we're on Dartmoor what I intend to do is uh, incorporate the Dartmoor 365 mapping which is uh, a book by uh, John Hayward and it maps all 365 square miles of Dartmoor and on a grid you've got a map inside and uh, each grid gives you points of interest which you can uh, you can look for and uh, you can chalk off the grid when you've done it and there's also a ordnance survey map with the grid grid overlaid on it these are pretty much like gold dust they are only um, produced a couple of times a year by uh, Dartmoor 365 face, Facebook group um, which is really worth uh, joining if you uh, if you're familiar with Facebook um, but it's the, only the second edition um, and they tend to run a couple of editions a year if they can um, but it's all done through volunteers so it's quite a, uh, a hard process to, to do and they uh, they need a certain amount of orders to uh, to justify it, really. Um, but yeah, so that's uh, that's what we're going to be doing when we're on Dartmoor as well. So we'll uh, we'll point out places uh, of interest uh, as we're going around. And uh, yeah, um, so really looking forward to this year and um, grow the channel. We're only a, a tiny little channel at the moment, but um, I'm happy with the way it's going. It's going in the right direction and. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's hope for a good year. So we're gonna uh, head away from the house for a bit and we're gonna head across the moor to find uh, a rather picturesque little waterfall uh, called Shavakan or Shavakan Falls. So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna have a look at that. So we'll see you in a bit.
but it turns out that you uh, need to cross the river to get up over on that side across the pillow mounds to get to the Shamrock River Falls but whichever way I go, whichever way I try I can't find a way across it's, uh, it's just really tricky there's all these little uh, leaks. It's quite boggy in places as well. So I'm not really sure. I think we might have to uh, approach Shamrock Falls from a different location. But uh, I think we're going to have to. Uh, Give that one up today, sadly. back to the house now and um, I saw some walkers that were local to the area and uh, they, they said that uh, Shavakan Falls you need to cross the river and uh, it was just too it was in spate it was it was high it was running fast it just wasn't any clear places to cross and uh, I'm not risking it not with this gear <laughs> so um, <clears throat> we're gonna come back again uh, we'll pencil that in for another time and um, We'll, we'll get there and we'll, we'll see the falls. So there we are, that's uh, a nice little jaunt to kick off 2022. Uh, Ditsworthy Warren House, and um, it's a shame we didn't get to the falls, but um, I think that's probably doable on a, a drier in the summer. I can think, unless uh, anybody knows of an easier route, maybe from the other side, if you can let me know in the comments. And um, yeah, so thank you very much for watching, and. Um, Hope to see you all again soon. Hope you're all well. Thanks again.